Hello? To make a animatronic move, we need servos. And these servos here in this animatronic, there's 26 of them. They're from King Max. And to make this iMac move, there's eight servos in it. I'm controlling this iMac using four channels with the RC radio. So what does an iMac need? It needs eyebrows. And to make these expressions, I'm having a servo lift another servo. So that servo needs to have torque. I'm using two Y cables and two reversers and two channels to control this brow mech. Yeah, I like these King Mac servos. Uh, they're high performance. And that's why I choose them for this large animatronic because not only that it's big, you know, it's going to be, you know, a lot of silicone to move. And here is, you know, uh, high-tech servos. And, you know, there's a, a, a large, a standard, a mini, and micro, and a sub-micro. The 3D printed animatronic I'm going to be designing and making and going to share with y'all, they're going to be using micro servos and maybe mini servos also. And that the minis would be more likely to be used for the gimbal because they will have higher torque. I mean, there are so many servos out there. It's just choosing the right one. You want something that's going to be dependable. And you want something that's strong enough to move the mechanism that I'm designing. When I'm designing an animatronic, I look at size and I look at torque. And then I look at cost. You know, I want to I wanna be able to move the skin and just give the animatronic some really realistic movements. I start researching. You know, I, I'll need a certain size, and I'll go with micro. And then, like, I'll go to a website, and like these King Mac servos here, and these these are strong, uh, digital, all Metal Gear servos, and they have good torque. Now, look how much weight this servo here is, is lifting. That's two and a half pounds. With the animatronic that I'm designing, I don't think I'll be needing something this strong. I mean, this is really impressive servo. And it's pretty strong, but maybe too strong for the animatronic I'm wanting to design. Because once again, I want to still see if I can keep it small. I mean, this servo here would lift six pounds. But, you know, you have some other options, even something a little cheaper. But it's... uh. You know less torque so and it's still considered a micro but you know a good pound and a half that's that's pretty good I've been researching some small micro wing servos with a decent torque and that's probably what the animatronics gonna be having you know the fun thing about animatronics you'll get this obsession about like a servo and you'll say wow man I wish they I wish they had that servo half this size and it would lift this much and and then you start to research it and go to websites and see some servos that are really small lifting something so heavy and it's just it gets your mind to think this is a 22 millimeter iMac and these have servos that are programmable. That means you can control the stops and starts. Later.